So how many of you have trouble falling asleep? Probably a lot of you. And it's something common in America. It's common with our crazy lifestyles. And it's really important to build a coherent evening routine, what we call sleep hygiene in medicine, and be consistent about it. And we know a lot about how to prepare yourself from sleep. Most of us just go, 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 jump in bed on our phones, put it down, try to go to sleep. No wonder we can't go to sleep. So we need to start winding down a few hours before bed. We can use blue blocker glasses and get rid of all the light pollution that's causing us disruption to our melatonin, which regulates our sleep. We can limit caffeine afternoon because a lot of times we drink coffee all day and then we can't sleep and wonder why. We need to make the room perfect for sleep. So it should be cool, 68 degrees or below. You can use a pad that often chills your bed if you, if you like that. Earplugs are awesome if it's noisy. Eye mask is awesome if you have light in your room. You want it really dark. So really create a safe little pod which you can go to sleep in that protects your environment from all the pollution from light and noise and sound that we we often tend to have in our lives uh, also find a sleep ritual that can help you unwind whether it's a hot epsom salt bath some gentle stretching and just some really simple practices to slow down maybe read a book get off your phones and devices uh, at least an hour or two before bed but there's other things you can do to help with sleep. And there's some incredible functional mushrooms uh, that can help you sleep. And one of them is called reishi or reishi, depends on how you pronounce it. It's known as the queen of mushrooms. It's used a lot in traditional Chinese medicine and it's powerful for helping stress and sleep. Now it's a little bitter, but it goes great with a low sugar hot chocolate, which has very, very little caffeine, less than 1%, instead of your usual nightcap, which may put you to sleep, but then wakes you up in the middle of the night if you drink alcohol. Uh, look for the organic extracted log-grown fruiting bodies. They're the best. Uh, and there's also incredible adaptogens that help with stress that can help you sleep because stress often interferes with sleep. And my favorite is something called ashwagandha. You've probably never heard of it. It's a big funny name, but it's an Ayurvedic herb from India that's been used for so many thousands of years to support health in a lot of ways. I mean, it would take me an hour to explain all the different ways. And it's great for stress. It's great for supporting energy and helping fight fatigue. So if you are struggling to fall asleep, make sure you build an evening routine, that you practice sleep hygiene, that you take your Rishi queen of mushrooms and your ashwagandha, and I think you'll be able to fall asleep.